Hello again, and welcome to the first of many, possibly many, Final Cut Pro tutorials, for want of a better term. And we're going to delve straight into it. I'm sorry to those people that um, subscribe that are, well, quite educated people and um, are going to have their time, you know, well, slightly wasted anyway, because, you know, it takes me a while to get out what I'm trying to say. I tend to ramble on a bit, so you'll have to bear with me. Now, we're going to get started by sort of briefly explaining a bit about the interface of Final Cut. Just, I'm not going to go into too much depth or detail, but just, just what you need to know. Um, for starters, we've got the browser, and this is sort of the area where you import your clips to and um, organize your your media and, and your work and that kind of thing and your effects, your different effects, you've got favorite effects and and many different things in here that we can go through later. Um, so that's your sort of your working area, much like your your, your clip area in, in iMovie. Very similar to that except much more advanced. Um, then we've got your timeline which is exactly the same as your timeline really in iMovie. Uh, with a couple of important differences. We did go through that you could add tracks by control clicking. You can add up to as many tracks as you want within reason. I think it's oh, 10 or whatever you've selected in your preferences. You can actually up that, but you, you shouldn't need more than, than three or four if you're doing, uh, even if you're doing advanced superimposition. Uh, anyway, to get rid of those tracks, we just do the same thing control click and uh, hit delete track there. You can do the same with your audio, you can bring in multiple audios and uh, again we'll leave that alone but that's your basic uh, timeline and of course any clips that you're, you've dragged into your timeline and you're working with your entire timeline is going to be played out in your canvas view here which is the same view basically as your main window in iMovie uh, and finally here we have the slug as we call it uh, which is, uh, I'll explain more, actually I'll leave that for now and I'll, I'll explain more once we import some footage because uh, you'll be able to e more easily see what is going on with that. Alright, one of the first things we want to do in Final Cut of course is create a project for us to work within. Final Cut's already gone ahead and given us untitled project there but we want to save that as so uh, we'll click on that in the browser and go to file and then save project as and for the, I'm just going to call this importing for the sake of what we're doing and we can see that saved that so now we, we have something that exists on our hard drive which is good it's a good start alright so uh, I like to be organized in my working if you just go and I mean import footage willy nilly in, into your browser here, it's all just going to end up, you're going to get audio tracks, video tracks, everything's going to be a big jumbled mess so it may be a good idea to make folders here and in Final Cut we call them bins now to, to make our bins we go to File, New, Bin and you see that bins appeared which is exactly, operates exactly like a, a folder does in any other part of the system now command B will also get you more bins just to save yourself some time if you remember that and uh, I'm just gonna make these up now you can order these bins ho however suits you call this one media audio maybe maybe a bin for my sequences if I have more than one and we can label our clips or sequences or whatever whatever's in here audio whatever we like I'll just be very original and call this mm, film one. Okay, so and and we can drag the the footage or the audio into these bins just in a regular way that we can on a Mac. There we go. Now we're going to import some footage here, and uh, how we do that? I've got a um a HD camera, so I don't actually need to go to file, uh, log and capture, this is what you'd do if you had a camera hooked up and you were importing from the camera, you'd go into this area and you'd set your in and your out points and you'd, you'd log your clips and so on and, and import your footage that way directly from tape off your camera. 
Now, if anyone wants help with that and they are in that situation, give me a yell. I'll, I'll help you out sort of privately on that. Uh, but I can't actually show you that because I don't have one of those cameras. And mine are just files that are dragged into my system and they just are imported as as MPEGs or and I convert them then to something else because Final Cut doesn't really work with MPEGs in the same way that iMovie doesn't like MPEGs so we have to convert them and while I'm talking about that I, I do use I use a free program called MPEG Stream Clip and that will if you're on a Mac and you're in the same situation with a HD camera highly recommend this program and uh, you can it'll quickly convert uh, your footage to DV or to to really whatever you want. It's a really great little free app. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, I've converted mine and they're all ready to come in. And any other files you might QuickTime files or whatever you'd like to put in your project. Um, we'll go to File and we'll go Import Files or a whole folder if you like to do that. That's handy. Um, we'll go Files for now. And I'll find some files that I've been working with recently if I can and yeah those will do we'll grab those shift select whatever you want and click choose and as simple as that they're in they're in into your project and you can do that with audio or any sort of files within reason